What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's Friday afternoon. I'm doing Truth Lot Thursdays. Kind of late because I was busy yesterday and I was tired. I had to go to sleep. Um, so this is a follow-up question from the last question. And, uh, they're basically asking, "What? You mentioned the law of liberty. I've never heard that before. In the wisdom law, I know you gave examples, but how does gravity, har harvest, and finance fall under the same law?" So the law of liberty is basically the Ten Commandments, the laws that set us free from sin if we keep them. Um, <clears throat> Ten Commandments are basically, I mean, you can pretty much look those up. Basically, it means loving God and loving your neighbor, pretty much. All those Ten Commandments, they basically are different ways how to love God and love your neighbor. And honor, honor God and honor your neighbor. Um, so those are the Ten Commandments and those never pass away. And then you have the natural laws, which are basically laws that represent God's design. God is an engineer. He created the earth. He designed everything. He designed the law of gravity. He designed the law of lift. He designed physics. He designed these trees. He designed the leaves. He designed, you know, seed time and harvest. Those are things that the Bible mentions. Even uh, agricultural laws, laws of work, laws of finance, laws of business. God has designed these laws, laws of economics. God has designed these laws into this planet. And so when you laws of health, <laughs> uh, certain animals that are designed to clean up the earth and eat poison, you know, so when God says don't eat those animals, it's not because he's trying to send you to hell, you know, it's because that's how I designed things to to work. So God is basically when when you have a a wisdom law or a natural law, that's basically God telling you how he's designed something he's giving you a clue on how he's designed something if i'm an engineer and i design a plane and i and i write the manual and i say listen i need you to use this type of gas in this plane and this is the range that this plane has you know he's not gonna sue you if you put something different in the gas tank he's not going to you know arrest have you arrested um you know, if you decide if you decide to to crash the plane from not following the instructions, and that's kind of how the natural laws work. God's not necessarily worried if you don't <laughs> if you if you rebel against His natural law, you're basically hurting yourself. You know, you're cursing yourself. Um, so that's basically how natural laws work. Hopefully, that answers your question.